Hey guys, it's Lily Elfies here and today's video is Drawing Your Mascots Part 2 Around a year ago, back in January 2019, so it has been a long time I made this video of Drawing Your Mascots where I asked you guys if you wanted me to draw your mascot On that video, I got heaps of requests I won't be able to do all of them since there was like 30 and that would be a long video, but if you guys like this video enough, I'll do a part 3 and if you want your mascot drawn, comment down below the number of your mascot and ask me to draw it. I've got a range of LPS tubers who ask me to draw their mascots. Here's my drawing book and next to it I have all my Copic markers as well as my fine liners, pencil, pencil sharpener and rubber. So I'm just going to get started. It's the cover I painted on top of it and it's got lots of drawings in there. The first one I'm doing is LPS 1058, which I'll have a picture on screen right now. It's requested by Rain Sweeped Flower. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I really like this LPS so I thought I would draw it. I usually go in with a sketch first that I rub out later on, but I'm just going to start doing by the shape that I like. I found that lots of you guys liked my art style in the last one and it helped improve your art skills by like showing the way that I drew so I thought I would run you through this drawing on how I would do it so I usually mark out like where I put everything so I have the eye line which is there and then I have like where the nose will be and then the mouth later on but I haven't got to that yet and I usually just mark things out since this isn't a realistic drawing this is my chibi style it's a lot quicker and more cartoon like this isn't how I would necessarily draw realistic things this is how I draw my cartoon style things I draw circles for where like the different bones are and like the shapes and now I'm going to do the ears Now that I've drawn this in quite cartoony style, I'm going to reference like a realistic picture of a chow chow. So I'm going to pull that up on Pinterest so I can make this like not just the LPS but more interpretive to somewhat inspired by realistic. get started I usually use a 0.3 millimeter yeah usually I usually use 0.3 of a millimeter of liners to do like basic lining because I quite like thick lines and then I use a 1.2 I usually use 1.2 to do a thicker like outline base and then I would use uh, 0 0.05 millimeter for details, but sadly I don't have that pin on me, so I'm gonna be using a 0.1 for details. Now I'm going to be choosing the markers to colour it with. We'll need a yellow, a slightly darker yellow for the fluff. Brown eyes, but since I'm shading them, I'll need a selection of different forms. A light pink for the nose, a dark pink for the feet, tongue, and I'll need a slightly light pink for the nose as well. I think that should be good. I'm going 
gonna start off by coloring in this base layer of light yellow. I'm just gonna swatch this. I might start off with such fun. And the life hack for everyone. It's not perfect, but I use the colorless blender. Put it around the area. Now I am going to the shading. To show you guys where my light source is, it's just kind of from this way. I usually do this kind of light source. Now I'm going to do the darky yellows. So I'm just going to color this into color. Napoleon yellow. Now I've done the yellow section, I'm going to be doing the pink section. So I'm going to start off with the nose and the fingers, which I'm going to be using the color blush, which is on 20. So I'm going to use this light brown on the base layer. I'm going to go in with dark suntan, which is E15. And then go in with dark brown which is, believe it or not, a dark brown. The colourless blender. And just blend it. And this bleeds quite a bit, so be careful where you put it. Then, once that's blended, I'm gonna get C1, which is a light grey. And here we have LPS 105A, all finished. So I'm just gonna write the date, which is the 22nd of November. I am really happy with how this drawing turned out. I really like the LPS and everything. This drawing probably took a total of like half an hour, but I really like it. On to the next drawing. The next LPS I chose, LPS 1832. And the person who commented asking for this LPS is Komodo's Collection. And they said, your art is so cute. My mascot is the Jack Russell 1832. Hopefully this is still their mascot, but I really like the LPS. I'm gonna do the same thing, draw out like the LPS shape. Here we have the face, and this one doesn't have quite as much fluff, but you can never go wrong with adding a bit of fluff. I'm going to start fine lining. This one's a lot more simple, so it won't take as long. I'm just going to start by doing the ears. Now I'm going to do the outline. Also to shade, I'll be using T3, which is grey, so it doesn't look too brown. So I'm going to be using soft sun. And shade it with sand, which is E33. And I'm going to use D9 for the nose. Shade that, and now we're doing the eyes. And since the light source is coming this way, we're gonna do the same thing where it'll be light around us. And for the tongue, I'm gonna be using blush and shade it with R43. And to finish it all off, I'm going to start using the colourless blender. Here is the finished LPS 1832, so I'm just going to write the date again. This one took me around half an hour again, but it was a lot more simple, so it wasn't as difficult. On to the next one. The next LPS I'll be drawing is number 2286, requested by M's LPS. I really like drawing unique LPS because it's more fun to do and this one I've never drawn before I've drawn most of these LPS before that are like main parts that's why I'm choosing the more different ones this LPS tuber that requested it is also really good art so you should check out the account they've got like an Instagram and things as well as a YouTube I believe
while I'm waiting for the ink to dry, I'm just going to choose the colours. So I'm also going to choose light suntan, dark suntan, um, this dark red, which is called Garnet. I'm going to go with cadmium red because it's more of an orangey, but I'll also go with strong red and this one is called Chinese Orange, so I'll choose those to kind of shade that so it looks sparkly. And then Sand and Soft Sun and Yellow Buttercup and I'll choose Mustard because that's kind of that colour. And for the bow I'm going to choose Baby Blue, New Blue and Coral Sea. The eyes we're going to go with Mauve Shadow, Amethyst and deep reddish blue so we're going to go with all those colors so i'm just going to put them to the side and now we're going to rub this out with a bex of light sun tan Now I'm going to go on to the red fluff on the top and I'm going to be using probably this lighter orange colour because that's the lightest colour so I can layer other darker colours on it. And we're going to do something similar to this on the fluff here and down here and on the tail. So for the bow, I'm going to start out with a light blue so I can layer on the other colours. I'm going to make it more of like a teal colour, which goes really nicely because if you don't know... Teal and orange is my favourite colour combination. I have said it in other videos, but it, it's going to look pretty good. Now if I do the same and use the colourless blender, it'll make it even smoother. This is probably my favourite drawing so far I've done. I quite like the first one, which was the Chow Chow, but this one's probably my favourite so far. But it is only the third drawing. I might add a darker brown because it's adding, when I've added more colours on the other bits, it looks better. So I'm going to add um, probably this brown. I I'm gonna test it though so it isn't too dark. Oh, swatch page. Okay, so we're gonna only go on the dark areas. I think this is a good color because it's like a light brown as well when it dries. I'm gonna blend that too. So now I'm going to be adding a darker yellow here to make it more detailed. I got out the colour mustard, if I can find it here. Because I find this blender like improves the drawing so much when you use it. So I recommend if you have not yet got a colourless blender for the Copic marker users, you should get one because very helpful. I feel like an ad right now. And I'm going to use C9 to colour the nose. It looks very dark, but it dries up over time. And after that, I just need to do the eyes and then I should be finished. And. Do we have tickets for Jojo's friend? No, I really wanted to get tickets, but they were so expensive. Can you still get them? Yeah, it says. How are they sold out when I changed? How are they sold out for digital things? Like they stopped selling them. So now I'm going to work on the eyes. So the colours I'll be using are these three purples. I'm going to start off with the lightest one. And we'll work our way darker. Because I always like to do a lighter base then work up darker. 
because that makes it easier to control the colours and make it look more smooth. This purple is very dark so hopefully it does blend because this dark purple is very similar to the colour amethyst so yeah it jumps a lot between those colours because it'll give it a bit of a pink undertone. Are they still selling them? We should get them other. So I think this is pretty much finished. I'm just going to add a bit of black on the nose and I think that's all. So here is the finished drawing for M's LPS. This one probably took me around 45 minutes because there was lots of detail in it. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Now we're going to be on to the next drawing. And there's ink bleed so we can't use this page. The next LPS I will be drawing is LPS 1035, which was requested by Blue Jay, which is one of my LPS friends, so you should go check her out. And I'm going to just start off by sketching it out. This one doesn't have much fluff, but I'll probably still add some. In all the requests I got, no one had a mascot that wasn't a cat or a dog. If you have a mascot that isn't a cat or a dog, I'll be more likely to choose it, but... Yeah, I like choosing the interesting ones over the popular ones. As a base, I'm going to look at a reference photo that is a realistic cat, so... Fluff that just is solid, it makes it look like it's got a bit of texture. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I'm just gonna go in with the 1.2 marker. Okay, I am really liking this. I am going to now pick out the colours while all the ink is drying of the pen. So, since this is more of a simple LPS, I won't need as many colours, but I'm going to be using this yellow because the yellow of the LPS is very vibrant. So, I'm not going to try and make a blonde, more realistic side. I'm just going to go full out yellow. So, I'm just going to pull out those and this pink. It's more of a purpley pink than red so I'm probably not gonna go and make it red. Um, I hope you guys like these drawing videos because I really like drawing and it's fun to show you guys what I've been working on so if you're ever like a drawing book tour or just more art related content I'd be glad to do that because I like showing you my customs and me painting for like the behind the scenes videos of like my short films and series and things. So yeah, this is fun. Basically, <laughs> know my process. So do I need to explain it to you? I don't know. I'm just gonna go right in here with the base. Up. Yellow is very vibrant. I might have to put a color in between that to make it a little less intense. <laughs> This 
seem like um, the perfect pen to use because it matches it very well on the picture. I'm going to change it for E04 which is lipstick from natural. Yeah, that helps a lot. which I'm going to be using C1 and T3 but not too much of the T3 because I don't want it to be an intense or I have just stuff a little bit to make it more dimensional now for the eyes so I'm going to start off with B00 so smooth and now to blend this whole drawing out oh this is one of my favorite parts because it brings it all together I feel like it was the right choice to add another yellow in there because it helped bring out so I hope you like this blue jay okay I really like how this one turned out it's pretty simple but I still like it drawing I'll be doing which is the fifth and final one because if I do any more this video is going to be ridiculously long. It is from Froggy QWQ and they want LPS and they would like me to draw their mascot number 1444 so I'm going to be doing that one for them today. I reckon if we just based this drawing off of this circle everyone would be like I don't know if I want a drawing. <laughs> These obvious we call crouching cats. Yep. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be kittens. I should know this because well my mascot is a crouching cat. I feel like I've really improved my outer world and you can never really see that on my channel because I've done art videos in the past. Lots of people in my last video said like how do you draw art so well which is very nice for me to say but it just takes practice like I think my drawings were in this video. I could do so much better than that. I think it was just like I wanted it to be a quick video and so people wouldn't get bored but it just takes practice. Up until like two years ago, I could not draw people. Like I found it so hard, but I just challenged myself. I was like, okay, I really want to be able to draw people. I don't know if I can, and it's really hard and I don't know how to do it. But then I was just like, I'm going to give it a try. And then I taught myself how to draw people and I didn't like focus on how I couldn't. I kind of just like believed that I could and that really helped. So if you're struggling to draw something, I recommend trying to practice a lot. My best advice I could give on drawing is don't compare yourself. I know it's really hard and I'm just saying that and it's like you're probably thinking it's not that easy. Everyone's at different stages of the drawing. You can't compare yourself to someone who's been drawing, I don't know, eight months longer than you or two years longer. Everyone's just learning. Give things a try and just know that everyone's at different stages so it's not accurate to compare yourself to other people. And if you have any other questions about art, you can ask them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them in my next drawing video. Now I'm going to start fine lining. Now for the details. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now I'm going to do the outline. Now I'm going to choose the markers. So I'm going to pick soft sun, sand, or light something. And for the eyes, lilac. Lilac and this mauve shadow, mauve, deep reddish blue. 
And for the ears, we're gonna go with RV43 because I don't know how to pronounce that name. RV11 and R20. And then those are all the colors I'm gonna be using. I think I started using carpet markers around like three years ago. Like started using them around six years ago, five years ago. So I guess I've had lots of practice. Colors are still a bit wet, like you just applied them, because it blends it a bit more. So I should be blending it as I go, but it's easy to just blend it once it's all finished. This is the final drawing. Hope you like it, and let's pick up these pins. So now I want to go through all the drawings that we've done in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all people that I did the drawings for, I hope you like them. And once again, if you'd like me to draw your mascot, comment down below the number of it and, and mention in your comment how you want me to draw it and I'll be sure to check it out in the next video if I decide to do a part three. See you guys in my next video. Bye!